kind of amazing year for me. Um, let's see. Um, I'm now at the studio full time in Houston, uh, directing, uh, loving that. Uh, have a new girlfriend that I'm really crazy about. Uh, so she's actually here with me, but I, she's we're in the dealer's room, so she's she's off looking at stuff. So, yeah. All right, now uh, a show that you couldn't talk about at, at OhioCon, but made mention to, uh, was the uh, Book of Pantora. It had finally come out. You know, and you had made mention it's such a hard show because everybody's... Yeah, yeah, death after death after death after death. But it's, it is such a neat show, and the fan response has been really good. Uh, there are still a lot of people that haven't heard of it. Wow. There's still a lot of people that haven't heard about it, but... Um, but the ones who have have been really, really enjoying the show. So I like that. I really, I'm, I'm really, it's a good show. I'm really proud of the cast. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of heavy hitters. We've got a lot of heavy hitters from the studio in that show. So. All right, cool. And uh, now another show you just happened to work on that's drama heavy and kind of depressing at points is uh, EF Tales of Memories. What was, uh, what was it like working on that show? Well, that show, I, I, A, I love the story. I, I, it's. Uh, it will break your heart. Uh, that show, we had to get out fast. I mean, really fast. And it had to be, you look at the, the storytelling and the, that story, you've got to have, you've got to do justice to that show. So I went with some of those veteran heavy hitter actors that can just come in and nail something, both acting wise, hitting flap wise. Um, normally I, I like to take chances and use some new people. Um, I, this one, I, I had a very short time frame to get both shows done, and I was like, you know what? I, and it wasn't even so much the time element, it was I can't risk this story <clears throat> to people that I'm going to have to coddle all the way through. I need people that are going to be able to come in that know anime, that know their craft as a voice actor, and the results w were just spectacular. I mean, in all honesty, uh, proofing both shows, proofing the ADR before it went to mix, I cried six times on Tale of Memories and about eight times on Tale of Melodies. I mean, it just, it, the performances are some of the best some of those people have done. Really, really are wonderful, so. Yes, I'm gonna have to pick that up. <laughs> just bring, get some handkerchiefs when you do. All right, uh, you know, you're a big Doctor Who fan. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, what? it's such a hit with the anime community. Why do you think, like, is there a theory you think that it, it blends so easily for anime fans to pick up and just watch. I, I don't know that it's necessarily anime fans. Anime fans are very accepting of a lot of other fandoms. You look around, there are a lot of things that at anime conventions that have nothing to do with anime. Uh, the Dolphies, they're accepted. The Steampunk really is an anime. Huge Steampunk contingency. Um, ponies, My Little Ponies, and, and Homestuck, which is a webcomic and stuff. <clears throat> but anime fans have always been very accepting of, uh, of other, other fandoms, which, which I love. I think really the appeal for Doctor Who is it's a guy that's kind of quirky, not you know not like everyone else, which is the way most anime fans feel about themselves. Most most people in fandom in general, and yet he always stops the bad guys. He always stops bullying. He you know you look you don't get a bigger group of bullies than the Daleks. And yet he and he doesn't use violence. He outwits them. He uses humor and intelligence. And I think because so many anime fans are very smart and very clever, I think they just find a common bond with, with the Doctor. So, yeah, that's that's my theory at least. And I'm sticking to it. Uh, something fun you might want to watch is uh, Epic Rap Battle, Doctor Who versus Doctor Brown. I've seen, oh, like nine people put it on my Facebook. I was like, oh, okay, okay, I've seen it. Yeah, it was very funny. Okay, and uh, now, as you mentioned, you are now working uh, full-time down in Houston. Um, what's it like now being able to say, I'm back where I, I it's home? Oh, it, it's wonderful. Um, the staff, everyone there has been so, um, uh, so warm, and uh, the other directors there, everybody was like, welcome back. <laughs> and, in fact, my immediate boss, who uh, called me into her office one day, I'm sorry, it's my boss's boss, she called me to her office one day and uh, told me that, uh, that they wanted to offer me, you know, full time. And uh, she said, and I need to add, it's about time. <laughs> and so everybody's been very glad to, um, to have me back. Uh, I love it. I love, working for that. I love working for that studio. 
Uh, the people are wonderful, and we're, we've got a ton of stuff coming in that I, in all honesty, I'm going, how are we going to get all of this done? We've got a lot of stuff coming in, from what I understand. I can't say anything right. specific. I'm working on three shows right now. That I've just finished two, and I've started one that I can't talk about yet. But, uh, oh, they're exciting. Oh, they're a lot of fun. Okay. And now the anime industry has uh, been going in some unique directions. Uh, where does you as a veteran think, um, see it going? You know, uh, we have digital distribution, Blu-ray, still standard DVD, and then, you know, you can still do, um, you know, Netflix and all that, you know. So that's at unique directions, and then now you've got different genres of different anime coming in, mixing in different genres. So where does you as a veteran see that industry going? I don't know. I just hope it continues to. Um, no, I, I, to be serious, I think um, the, the digital distribution format is really good. Uh, video on demand. I mean, the Anime Network has has done incredibly well, and their stuff on video on demand is about the price of Netflix, and you can get a, a per month, and you get you have access to this huge library of anime. It's it's incredible. Um, so I, I always I always promote you know my friends at Anime Network. Um, uh, that you know. Um, of course, you know Netflix and things like that. That's all wonderful. I think it's, I think it's a really exciting time to be an anime fan, <laughs> because there's so much going on, in the way of getting um, the material out to to the people. So, cool. And uh, now we had talked at Ohio at OhioCon about OhioCon 2013's roast coming up. Yes, we have. How are things going on that? Because I think you might want to mention who it is now. Yeah, yeah, I can say now who it is. Uh, we're roasting Tiffany Grant, <laughs> uh, and I am so ready for this. Uh, I don't know that we have all of the guests named yet, so I can't say who, but uh, I'm just going to say I'm working on uh, some material for this roast. <clears throat> and you've seen the other roast. You yes. know how edgy the stuff I've done has been that makes all of the other stuff look like it look like I was being nice. <clears throat> I'm working <laughs> I'm working on some stuff that is I'm I'm very excited about where it's coming. I've tried a couple of the jokes out on my on my girlfriend, and she's like, oh my god, are you really going to say that? I'm like, yes, I am. So, I'm very excited. Can't wait in two months. <laughs> um, so, also in 2013, the airship Air Isabella will make a visit to Ohio. Um, what can you tell us about those talented folks for the fans that are going to be potentially able to see them? Okay, if you get a chance to go down, now where are they going to be? Angie, Ohio. Angie, Ohio. If you get a chance to go and meet them, to stop by their table, uh, to go to any of the panels or workshops they do, if you are at all interested in steampunk, go. They do so many panels and so much stuff. It's it's really incredible. They are some of the nicest, most down-to-earth people. Um, they really are everything that I love about the steampunk movement. They really are. There's, there's a lot of stuff earlier that I didn't like, and they really changed my mind. They really are the reason that I gave steampunk a second chance. So I can't, they are amazing artisans. And on top of that, just really good people. So, yeah, I, the, the people of Ohio should be really excited. All right, and um, now, is there any way for fans to keep up with you on the internet, like a uh, Facebook group for uh, for you? I've got a Facebook fan page. Unfortunately, my personal page uh, is way past the friend limit, so I can't friend anybody there. But I do have a fan page that I, I keep up on very often. Uh, Mock Combat for Cosplay has its own fan page. I also have a website, uh, www.christopherairs-va.com. And I keep that updated. I, I update with uh, convention pictures and a couple of times a year, mock combat for cosplays, gallery updates. And I try to try to be very active so people can see what I'm doing. And now, um, is there any shows that we didn't talk about that you are also allowed to talk about, which are probably limited to like one? No, I, no actually I've done quite a bit that's already out. Um, uh, I did two very guy heavy shows. Uh, one season one is out uh, and that's Hakuoki. I also did uh, Intrigue in the Bakamatsu. Uh, really fun if you like fan service. Uh, Magikoi O Samurai Girl. Yeah. The name was a clue already. Magikoi O Samurai Girl. Uh, really interesting, fun show. Uh, that was one where I, at time, because I had so many close friends in the, the principal roles, there were points when I couldn't even look at the actresses in the booth. I was, I, once that camera turns off, I will tell you a couple of things that will drop your jaw. But I'm not, I don't know who will be watching that, so I'm going to keep it clean. More or less. All right, and uh, any final message for all your great fans out there? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll talk to, I won't talk to you, I'll talk to them. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching everything. I, 
uh, because of my work with the studio and the, the number of shows that I have coming out, I'm probably going to have to do fewer and fewer conventions this year just because I've got a lot of to work, uh, work to get done. But, you know, just keep watching. And every time I meet somebody who is not, not, not even necessarily a fan of mine, who's a fan of this industry, who, who talks about, you know, how much they love something that a friend of mine did, it just warms my heart so much. Um, you know, it's, it's like I said, my girlfriend's an anime fan. Uh, and, and we met at a convention doing an interview very similar to this. Don't worry, I'm not going to date him. Uh, but yeah, I just, I just, just want to thank everybody for the continued support. Um, it really means the world to, to all of us in the industry, so thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for coming out here always. and always talking with us. Always thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, buddy. Thank you.